Hi all, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be seeing about what is user projects, what is MLD, and how we can connect our project to a PLC sim for simulation the CFC logic. So let's get dive in. Today's points, multi-user project, and what is MLD, communication with PLC sim. Multi user project. So basically, while creating a new project using new wizard, the schematic manager will create a multi project. So, multi project default thing will consist of one user project. But according to the plant requirements, we can consider n number of user projects. For example, if I my factory area loading section with a PLC that will be configured as one project and a production area with another PLC that will be configured in one project and finally a packing area project will be configured as separate user project. So all the user projects will be having their own PLCs and own OS systems or WinCC systems. So all the logical requirements for all these PLCs like FBs and all will be derived from one center location that is called master data library. So basically master data library will have the template logics of all the PLCs uh, that are using logics uh, in CFC. So the, all the logics were derived from a template. We can create individually at user projects, but that will create a rework of commissioning engineer. So that's why this kind of architecture is used in PCS7. So master templates will be stored in master data library and they will be instantiated in required user projects at multiple hierarchy level. So here we are in our workstation. So our project is open and running. So we will navigate to a MDR. So you can see the icon with book symbol. So this is termed as master data library. So for example, if my multi project requires one more project, I can directly navigate to plant view or component view and right click under multi project. We can create in multi project. So I will be creating a new user project under the multi project. It is asking for whether this new creation was a project or a library. So we will be going with project first and it will be saved in the following location. So as you can see, we have a new project created. Under this, we will be adding a new AS and voice station. Right click. You can configure uh, as we require, but for simplification sake, I will be going with a pre-configured station. Click on pre-configured station. What is the CPU you want to install in this project? We will be going with 410 single H as we selected in the previous project. I am not selecting any communication card. And a single OS. Now I will close the UOB and Technological view. It is still saving. In our user project, a PLC and a OS was created. I will close now. So, like this, we can create n number of user projects required to our plant area. This is the MDR or master data library. Go to insert create multi project. 
here now we will create a custom library this will create a custom library inside the multi project so basically one multi project should consist of one master library and many user libraries so all the logics which we are developing inside this should derive from master data library that's how the pcs7 architecture uh, simplifies the commissioning so next now we will be discussing about how to communicate the pnc with a virtual pnc scene and this will help for debugging the chc logics and viewing online values without you real hardware the plc sim is a separate component which is installed while installing the pc7 so this component is used to simulate a virtual cpu or sotem or any other pc7 controllers to validate the logics in cfc so to activate the plc sim you need to navigate to the toolbar open plc sim so you can see the user interface of pnc sim so defaultly it will be having a cpu which is running in stop so to download the hardware configurations into this plc sim you need to navigate to the component view open a plc navigate to hardware here you need to download this hardware configuration into the plc sim no need for any network configurations as it is a simulation the software will understand that we are trying to download into plc sim compile we have an integrity problem so we will see details we need to remove password protection or we need to set a password to download for uh, simulation sake i am removing the password compile this button is used to ping the pnc sim on windows download do you want to download and stop on yes so it will take a default ip so the hardware configuration got downloaded we can close the hardware configuration we can minimize this uh, plc sim and we'll go to our plant view and here in cfc we can put some logical blocks i just made as one logical circuit here with the un or win un and or blocks then we need to compile since it is of initial set it is asking for enter program compile give yes so compilation is going on to check any logical mismatch or any errors in the programming plus no download yes we are trying to do enter download because it is uh, initial download download you can keep it in run programming to make sure i will download again and you can observe notification here like real plc download now because uh, it is second time you can do changes download i will do enter program download only download the cpu will be stopped yes we want to restart the cpu now you can see it went to stop mode as it counted now the cpu is back from mode and this toggle button is used for testing cfc logic and you can see the logic 
and and or with a live PLC simulation without real hardware. To modify these values, we need to do one more setting. In once, go to folder hierarchy, object properties. Here we need to go with uh, these charts of the corresponding PLC. Right click, object properties. Under advanced, we'll be having option to support forcing function. We need to navigate, activate this one in order to check the values or modify the values online. Okay, let's go to here, open our CFC, toggle the test mode. Yes. Yeah, in order, in order to do this, uh, first we need to check the IOS for uh, online. Navigate to corresponding pins and check add forcing. We click OK. Now we will go to runtime. Yes. Okay, after uh, changing these uh, modifications, we need to download the program once again. It asking for enter, compile. Close. Then, change this download. Navigate to the tivos and modify the value of the tivo. You can see the value was changed. Our output is 0 and 1, output becomes 1. And analogy was enabled. So, this is how we will simulate the CFC logic using PNC simulator in PCS7. And thank you for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and mention comments about regarding doubt and share the query. We'll meet you in the next video. Goodbye.